So to sequence a genome, you essentially need to uh, start with some DNA. Um, with Craig, we essentially took a blood draw um, and from that blood extracted DNA. Um, and Craig came up with this incredible idea that if you just smash up the DNA into lots of pieces and then take each of those pieces of different sizes and sequence the ends, you can essentially discover some piece of DNA sequence from the ends. And so what you have, once you fragment the DNA and sequence the ends, you have lots of little pieces. And all these little pieces essentially need to go back together again. And so by using computational methods, you essentially take the DNA sequence that you get off a sequencer of all these little pieces, these fragments as they're called, and you essentially start aligning them together. You say, ha-ha, here I have some some sequence of DNA, and here on this other fragment, I have another sequence of DNA that exactly matches, and I put it together. And in that way, you start overlapping these fragments. Now, you can imagine as you go through this process many, many times, you can essentially reconstruct a long piece of sequence. You put together all the pieces. And with Craig, we did 30 million of these pieces. And once you've assembled the genome, you essentially can organize the pieces into chromosomes. And we're able to essentially organize chromosomes using, using this process.